The Division, Grand Central Station, Legendary Solo, PTS 1.8.1. Two days ago I made a small tutorial for the Amherst Apartment Legendary Solo and today I will show you the same thing only for the Grand Central Legendary on the PTS 1.8.1 during the global event Blackout. I get some comments that it's easier to pull this off during global event, but when the live update hits I will record a new gameplay tutorial for both of the new legendary missions. So let's start guys. The beginning of the mission is not hard at all, actually getting to the checkpoint is kind of a mid-range difficulty, but after the checkpoint you will have to be really careful and patient because it is a long mission and smallest mistake can cost you a lot of your time. Grand Central is way more difficult than the Amherst apartment in every way. So for the very beginning you wanna start with the Dragon Bread and Seeker Mines. Fire Turret will watch your back and Seekers will do the rest of the job, allowing you to clear out all the enemies without taking too much of a risk. Basically in the beginning you just need to place your turret at a particular point and throw your Seekers and that's it. I was using my 5 piece tactician classified build. I will leave you link of my tactician classified in the top right corner of this video. I will also leave you the link of the Amherst apartment legendary solo mission so you can check it out if you didn't. Alright guys so let's continue with the gameplay. So I was playing the first part like uh, without taking any risk, uh, you can say conservative. Uh, you can pull this off even without a global event active. So this first part is really easy, you basically want to stand here, throw your seekers until all the enemies are out. I was trying to shoot them from time to time just to stack up my tactician skill power a little bit and basically that's it. Uh, when we clear out this first wave of the enemies we are going to go a little bit more underground and uh, we will switch the fire to red for a sticky bomb. So, that's it basically, first part is easy, they, they will all show up, you can see them right here and you just have to throw your seekers and wait till the job is done. Uh, later in the mission I had some situations where I was lucky again like in the Amherst apartment but nevertheless I hardly managed to finish this mission. Uh, the end is uh, disastrously hard. Uh, there is again a hunter at the end of the legendary mission. It is resilient like in the Amherst apartment, maybe even more. But I switched my tactics, but that part of the video took me too long to finish. Uh, you will see at the end there is a very very strong wave of enemies with bosses and a hunter. And uh, you will see how I managed to survive all that attacks and finish the mission. Actually the mission is kind of broken after I clear out all the enemies I didn't get the notification that I finished the mission but uh, in my previous uh, Amherst Legendary I had some pretty nice comments from you guys and I want to thank you for that. Uh, basically uh, a lot of you were suggesting that the uh, Hunter resilience is maybe a glitch and that you cannot really finish the Grand Central Station, that the mission is kind of broken and you are not getting that modifi modifi uh, notification for finishing the mission. Alright, so here you want to switch your fire to red for a sticky bomb, run back down and uh, enable your seekers before you run here and just go back up and take the place right here. From here you can shoot them through that glass, if there is a glass on that fence, and you will be pretty much safe. They will eventually spawn down here, but you need to lure them out with your seeker mines. Uh, basically there is healer down there and you want to get rid of the healer. Sometimes he show up here, sometimes not, you have to look for him, but uh, in this run I was pretty lucky and this is basically the best part, this is the place you want to be, in case they are rushing you, you are having a great number of covers to take and uh, you can survive that pretty easy. 
as I said the first part of the mission is nothing special okay the the wave of enemies just before the checkpoint it is hard it is tricky because the healer is not spawning in the first wave you will see when we come to that uh, you have to just lure him out but le let's stay here okay uh, the healer is down and I managed to kill him with my shock ammo okay this is easier than it will be in the live update without global event but anyway it's a first run so you can see what is all about and uh, how enemies are spawning that way it will be easier for you once you going to play that mission for yourself uh, it is tricky here because there is actually more than two waves of enemies uh, once you get the signal that all uh, enemies are clear out you are having three more enemies that will spawn so you have to be really really careful uh, you will see what I'm talking about in short this is basically the easiest way okay objective complete but it's not uh, you will have to clear three more enemies I believe there are two more shotgunners and uh, one agent or one kind of a boss here so stay up here after you get the notification that all enemies are cleared and finish those three guys again just don't rush too hard uh, in the next part of the mission like in every legendary be patient is the best thing you can do uh, if you don't want to go over and over again uh, it took me some time to finish this mission I'm not gonna lie to you guys it is way more harder than the other legendaries I played I believe we are going to find better ways to finish this mission quicker waves and uh, we are moving to the next part of the mission okay once you are here uh, you will stay here almost all the time uh, you can see that reticule for a mission that yellow sign uh, basically that's the exact spot where you want to place your sticky bomb there is a cover there and they are taking cover just at that spot so you just have to place your sticky well the shotgunners are going to rush through that uh, really narrow corridor so you will have a easy time to stop them okay with the shock ammo again but nevertheless I found out that this place is the safest place you can always retreat and go back up the stairs but uh, they are tricky I mean it is legendary mode so you have to deal with them you just have to deal with them they are unpredictable uh, from like 8 of 10 times they will only rush you on the right side but this guy decided to take left and you have to just deal with that seekers and sticky will do the job just uh, place your sticky at that yellow mark and you should be alright uh, once you clear the most of the enemies you can go forward a little bit and check out what's going on there is plenty of cover here so you should be okay and uh, that part is almost done one seeker and we are moving forward all right that's it uh, let's go now this is also easy and we are just coming close to the checkpoint in couple of minutes we will be at the checkpoint but before the checkpoint there is a hard job to do okay uh, once you exit these ruins uh, you will have to clear them out with your sticky sometimes you can do them with just one sticky shot they are all in the group here one sticky and one seeker and that's it so that's kind of uh, easy you just have to place your sticky nice 
and now we are carrying the hardest job so far uh, once you reach this point you wanna run straight into the control room and you will see them walking inside of the room you wanna wait maybe to catch two even three enemy enemies in the circle of your sticky bomb but uh, I wasn't patient so I just pick one hit him and put my seeker on the floor and run back here alright if there is no global event active this might not be the best idea as you can see I was able to stop two shotgunners with my assault rifle which is a low gear score assault rifle but uh, you have to be careful here this here is one of the places where you can stay you can have a decent crowd control from here maybe if there's no global event you could use your fire turret or your turret in order to stop them to coming out but uh, I had some <laughs> funny moment right here you will see I should go down but I didn't I don't know how the game maybe glitched the guy just disappeared I did my best but uh, this is the problem right here you cannot really reach the healer actually I didn't find a safe way to reach the healer and this is what I'm talking about I don't know how I managed to survive that uh, I expected that he will shoot me in the back but he didn't he just disappeared whatever it's a PTS it's maybe a glitched a little bit I was lucky to have my recovery link active uh, and that's it and now the healer will come out and you just wanna be patient and try to catch him with your sticky most of the times he don't wanna come out I don't know what depends on that uh, but you will have a hard job to clear out these guys because one of the shield guys are gonna stand right in front of these doors and other bosses are gonna try to rush you but as I said this here could be a good place to be throw your seekers and put the fire threat on the door if there's no global event but once you finish the heal the rest of the job is easy basically you just have to be patient throw your seekers and you will be fine and uh, once we clear these guys uh, we are at the checkpoint okay only the big shield guy left he doesn't move at all in this case and I finish him with one seeker and one sticky he just left in the middle of the room and I was checking out and that's it I believe you can do the first part in uh, 10 minutes I was playing really slow in the beginning just to see is it doable without taking any risks you can finish the first part even quicker if you are using the stickies and the uh, seeker mines instead of the red I mean on the very beginning of the game and this is the checkpoint guys alright to clear out these guys in a safe way you can throw your seeker and move a little bit more inside of the subway since I played this couple of times uh, I was pretty confident that I can finish the shotgunner like this from the close range uh, three seekers in this part should do the job and then the next wave of the enemies is going to spawn this first part doesn't have a healer so you should be good if you throw three seekers and after that you will eventually have to come out and look for the healer and uh, after that you will have to progress over that bridge 
and it is going to be a hard job because there is uh, multiple enemies, multiple grenadiers, snipers and uh, you will see it's long mission and it took me more than 30 minutes to finish uh, solely because of the finale of the mission and the hunter which is as you all probably know very very hard to kill so once you clear that first part of the first wave of the enemies you will have to go outside and look for the healer you can see him right here I was pretty lucky he just showed up eat the sticky and then the rest of the enemy is not problem as always in the legendary once you clear the healer you will not have big problems to clear the rest of the enemy so just be patient uh, this is one of the best positions you can see them all you can even see them coming so just be here and try to do best you can we will move forward in a short and you will see how that goes all right uh, right here is also a good place to be because you can see them you are in the cover and this is the spot from where your seekers can reach them if you stay a little more in the back your seekers will not be able to reach them so be sure to come somewhere here you can also go up on that small uh, container whatever that is and you will have the similar situations like in some other legendaries I'm um, I remembering the napalm you remember the first part after the checkpoint you have to dodge the grenades and throw your seekers and stickies down there something like that you will have if you climb up that little platform right here uh, there is new wave of enemies with uh, two or three shotgunners so you just want to be patient uh, take the cover and try to clear them out with your seeker mines uh, point is that the seekers are not doing the instant kill they are having uh, instant damage first first damage and then you have to wait a couple of seconds for that bleed to hit the enemy so you have to count on that uh, when you are fighting shotgunners uh, you want to throw the seekers as fast as you can you want to be precise with your seeker mines as much as you can because as soon as they hit the target you will have more chance to survive I'm talking about those nasty shotgunners because when the bleed hits them they are going down but in that meantime between the initial damage and the bleed damage they can kill you so that's kind of a tip on how to use your seekers and how to be patient when the shotgunners actually going against you uh, in this part of the mission you will constantly have to move forward to have the best possible situation for your seeker mines range for your seeker mines and uh, from time to time you will use your sticky bomb I think there is only one more enemy left right here it's that grenadier and we will move forward there is not much left till the end of the first part of the I would call it after the checkpoint part I'm now stupidly going to pick up this loot I don't know why but I was kind of uh, it was irritating to see all that loot from before hanging around so I'm picking this up and we will move forward in a second okay uh, when this wave of enemy is finished you will run straight up to this car and place your sticky the best you can you can see the whole group of enemies right here and basically you will not have to move from this position for a while uh, your 
other seekers will do the job you will eventually see the healer coming and of course you have to deal with the healer but this is pretty safe position uh, I didn't notice any grenades coming my way if they are they were blind death grenades but the turret guys are strong and that shield guys is pretty strong so you just have to be careful and not expose yourself too much we will eventually have to move clo closer to them in order to hit them with the sticky sticky can sometimes hit the fence and the cover so you, you will have to aim well in this part of the game you see those two tactician guys uh, placing their turrets they are pretty dangerous but if you are in the cover you should be fine well after this wave of enemies the finale is coming the last part is coming there is one more wave of enemies we should deal with and the best position is to be right here you can be in the cover or you can stand up you will be covered even if you are standing up you can lean left and try to pick up your targets with your sticky bomb there's no worries that they will kill you if you are in the cover as you can see that these nades are not the real nades disruptors sticky and uh, I don't know blind death grenades shock grenades are all there throwing at you but the fire is pretty strong so just be patient and try to clear most of them and then move forward because if you stay here you will not be able to reach all of them with your sticky and you have to be careful and watch out for the snipers they are extremely dangerous in this part okay and that's it uh, basically we are at the end of the mission only one guy left and he will go down in a short as I said it's pretty long mission after this we will have to do that all over again only in the different direction and I was trying a couple of places here where where is the best possible place to be and I find out that it is here it, uh, it's a defensive behind that Hummer vehicle uh, I tried to be on top of those platform on the left and on the right side but as you can see they are hitting so hard that you really have to be in the cover and this is probably the best position okay it's conservative play uh, I tried to do that quicker but I was not able you will be have you will have to be careful for those sticky bombs they can one shot you really uh, I'm using the rifle with the determined uh, so my skills are having a very very small cooldowns and also my recovery link is regenerating real quick and that saved me that saved me a lot of times you can check out the build as I said in the beginning of the video in the top right corner of the YouTube cards but determined on your rifle is extremely important altogether with the predator so I know this might be a little bit boring but uh, telling you guys this is probably the best way to be you can even go more in the back you can even retreat more if you need to you will see that they will rush you and there is not much you can do and they start to rush you then uh, retreat and try to deal the highest damage possible on those bosses you will see what I'm talking about in the minute you also want to have that kind of a narrow path 
they simply don't have a choice than uh, run up to me and I can aim better I mean it is a narrow street so they are not having too much places to take cover and shoot at you from the cover so as I said I tried out uh, many many places in this uh, but for me personally this was the place from where I was able to finish the mission and that's it guys in the very end when only the hunter left uh, I was using the Tourette in order to finish the hunter and then I remembered the last boss of the Times Square you know that you can kill that big shield guy in the Times Squares only with the Tourette and uh, I believe that the hunter at the end of new legendary missions is not a glitch I believe it's meant to be that way those are the stickies I was talking about they will one shot you uh, to continue about the hunter uh, sustained damage is doing the best against him so I take my Tourette at the very end and he's not a typical hunter he is like uh, as I said that boss in the Times Square where he's having uh, health which is depleting very very slowly no matter the damage you are doing to him he's not healing that often as the hunters do usually you know once you hit them and you think they are over they heal themselves he is healing himself but as I, I could see in this gameplay he was healing himself maybe two or three times the most but the, his health bar is going down very very slow so you need to do a ton of damage in order to put him down okay we passed that uh, part where those bosses are rushing they will rush more as I remember and uh, that's it guys I'm not gonna babble anymore I will leave you to see the rest of the gameplay if you find this video useful or funny in any way please comment like consider to subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys in my next video
my trigger thing is good.
Ija. What the fuck, dude?